Truffles are stellar on a special occasion in the autumn. And today, we're gonna make fresh fettuccine to showcase our fresh black truffle. We have our flour. You can place on your board or counter. Make a well in the center for your eggs. We're gonna give them a quick feeding. Once your egg is inside your flour, grab your fingers, pull a little bit of flour into the center, and continue to pull flour into the egg. The black truffle that we're gonna make today with the sauce and fresh fettuccine is absolutely delicious. Once you have a good solid paste, that's when you fold the inside in. The egg will not run because of the flour that's in. For the recipe for this pasta dough, you can find this on Threefold Cafe's Facebook page. We will have it posted for you. Now, we're gonna cut just a small chunk off. Flatten the dough. Take a little bit of flour, place it on the dough. Take your hands and work it so that you have an elongated rectangle. Turn your machine on. Put the dough in. Let the machine do the work. Now, take your dough, fold it into thirds. You want to do this at least three times. For a twist, you can roll your pasta dough out and then put herbs such as parsley or basil or dill or tarragon. And now we shall start rolling our pasta to go thinner. I personally will run through each number two, maybe three times. There is nothing like fresh pasta. It's a great way to showcase beautiful fresh seasonal ingredients, truffles, fresh mushrooms, so many wonderful applications that you can do. Fresh pasta is one of those universal ingredients. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Let's change our cutter. Sprinkle a tiny bit of cornmeal onto your sheet pan. Take a sheet of fettuccine, turn your machine on, and feed your fettuccine into the machine. There we go. Now, grab everything except the outside fettuccine. You have your fettuccine around your hand and place it onto your pan. What happens is that this will keep the pasta loose for the air to dry and it won't come together and stick on you. And now we have beautiful fresh fettuccine for you and your guests. Next, let's start our sauce. We have fresh black truffles and we're gonna use our truffle slicer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> We're going to take the truffles and mound them up, and we are going to slice them again in a julienne style. The reason for this is that I want the truffles to wrap around the long strands of our fresh fettuccine. We add a little bit of butter into the pan. We're going to saute some shallots. See how the shallots in this beautiful butter cooking right now? Here we go. So we're going to sweat the shallot out a little bit. Add your pasta into seasoned salted water. Stir the water to make sure that the pasta is not sticking to each other. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh thyme. Hear that pop? Let's add our truffle. Let's season with salt and pepper. Oh boy, you can smell that truffle. Now, our secret ingredient, that's that, you guess it, water. Now you want to add enough water to coat your pasta evenly. Now I made black truffle butter. I took some truffle, chopped it up, added it to some butter. What I want you to do is make sure your heat's on high, just to swirl the pan. See how it's getting thick? This is what you want. Now, let's pull our pasta out of the water, our beautiful fresh fettuccine. Shake all the water off into the sauce. And now, toss. Let's break the pasta up to make sure that it's in. 
And now let's plate our beautiful pasta dish. Use the side of the pan to your advantage. Bring your pasta over. Another quick turn and pull. When you sauce, remember that the sauce highlights your dish. It's not the dish. And now we'll sprinkle just a little bit of pecorino cheese over your pasta. I'm Anthony Lopinto from Threefold Cafe, and there's nothing more special than sharing fresh trouble with your loved ones. Let's give it a taste. Delicious.